long has it been since you threw away a kitchen or bath towel? Well, it may be time to start purging your linen closet. Dr. John Swartzberg, a clinical professor at the University of California Berkeley School of Public Health, joins us now to tell us when washing in hot water may not be sufficient to clean those fluffy fabrics. Welcome, Dr. Schwartzberg. I think there are many of us who won't throw away a towel unless it's in tatters, but there are other reasons to get rid of towels, right? Well, sure. We, we know it's pretty clear that towels get contaminated with bacteria and viruses. And some of those bacteria, and perhaps some of those viruses, can be dangerous to us. And so what have recent studies of kitchen towels shown us about microorganisms? Well, the largest and most recent study done uh, not quite a year ago showed that kitchen towels have bacteria on them. This, frankly, this was no surprise either to the authors or to the people who read the paper, because we've known for a long time that bacteria can survive on these inanimate objects, particularly when they're moist. Um, what this did show was that some of the bacteria that can survive are bacteria that can cause human disease, like Campylobacter and Salmonella. So how often do you recommend we wash our kitchen towels or even replace them with new ones? Okay, well, I've just told you the science, and that is that we know these bacteria can live on kitchen towels. Now the rest is speculation in terms of how long you should go between washing, et cetera. So here, here are some tips. Um, if you're working with uh, chicken, for example, which we know is frequently contaminated with Campylobacter, Salmonella, really bad bugs, you should probably change those kitchen towels if they got any fluid on them at all, right after after using them. On the other hand, if you're just using them for daily use, there's been nothing that really has significantly contaminated them, and there's no one who's a compromised host in your home. All right, so using them on, on raw chicken, throw those out, the other ones you can wash. Well, I didn't say throw them out. I said that you've got to, you've got to be really careful with them. What you okay. can do is you can take them and um, put them in some bleach, that is, like a gallon of water and a couple of tablespoons of bleach and let them sit there um, for overnight. Mm -hmm. uh, if you put them in the washing machine at high heat with the detergent and then dry them at high heat, that kills almost all the organisms. All right, okay, so now let's move on to the bathroom. What are your biggest concerns with bathroom towels? Well, I think the biggest concern is if you've got any infection on your body, you can either spread it to another part of your body or if somebody else uses your towel, it could spread it to them. So for example, if you have a sty, which is usually caused by the bacterium called Staphylococcus, and you use that same towel again on the other eye, you could spread the bacteria to that eye and get a sty on the other eye. Or of course, if somebody else used that towel, could spread it to their eyes. The same thing would go for any skin infections. You could spread it to different parts of your body, or somebody else who used the towel could then get could then catch it. So, what are your recommendations then for bath towels, even among family members in the same house? Well, my recommendation number one is use your own towel. Number two, if you don't have any infections on your skin or anywhere else, then you, it's fine to reuse it. Let it dry out overnight, and it's fine to reuse it. And you could re reuse it for several days, sometimes up to a week, depending upon what's going on. On the other hand. If you have any infections, then it's got to be washed daily. Now, how do you recommend we wash our towels? With hot water, bleach? What about the drying cycle? Well, so the first thing is, if there's any concern about pathogenic bacteria on your towels, then use some bleach with your wash and with the other detergent. Um, wash it at high heat and also dry at high heat. Between those two things, you're going to get rid of the bulk of the bacteria and reduce the number of pathogenic bacteria to a minuscule number. But nothing we can do at home will truly completely sterilize them, is that correct? No, we can't sterilize them at home. We don't have any of the kinds of equipment that hospitals use to really make sure these towels are sterilized. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Schwartzberg, for all of this eye-opening information. You're welcome.